Blood is like your body's superhighway. It carries nutrients and oxygen to everything from your heart and brain to even your muscles and skin. A healthy diet is one way to optimize your circulation or blood flow. But combined with exercise, hydration, weight management, and not smoking, some foods can also help improve circulation. Plaque buildup, blood clots, or narrowed blood vessels can lead to poor circulation. When obstacles or narrow paths slow down blood flow, it is very difficult to send blood to every part of your body in an efficient way. Poor circulation is a common feeling that affects millions of people every year. It can range from something as benign as your leg falling asleep after sitting for a long period of time to something life-threatening such as a blood clot. It is important to note that poor circulation is not a condition itself, but a result of other factors. You should be aware of the potential causes of poor circulation and watch out for the signs to ensure your body is as healthy as possible. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me make more videos just like this. The most common symptoms of poor circulation include tingling, numbness, throbbing, stinging pain in your limbs, and muscle cramps. The good news is there are several things you can do to get your blood pumping fast. There are many foods that you can consume to help increase blood flow and circulation in your body. Cayenne pepper is one food on the list. This bright red pepper does just more than spice up your food. Thanks to a compound called capsaicin, cayenne pepper can help your arteries work well. It can also help relax the muscles in your blood vessels so that blood can flow easily. And that's also good for your blood pressure. You can also try incorporating pomegranate into your diet. The tiny juicy red seeds inside a pomegranate are packed with nutrients, especially antioxidants and nitrates. These can boost your circulation and they dilate your blood vessels and lower your blood pressure. That means that more oxygen and nutrients are delivered to your muscles and other tissues. And for active people, greater blood flow may bring along a performance boost as well. If you have always wondered why fish is good for your heart, here is one reason. Fatty fish like salmon, trout, herring, or mackerel are full of omega-3 fatty acids. Many studies suggest that these compounds are good for your circulation. Eating fish not only lowers your resting blood pressure, it can help keep your arteries clear and unclogged too. So a diet rich in fish that are low in saturated fat and high in omega-3 fatty acids has been associated with improved blood flow and a reduced risk of heart attack and stroke. Beets are also rich in natural chemicals called nitrates, which your body can convert to nitric oxide. Nitric oxide helps to naturally loosen up your blood vessels and improve the blood flow to your tissues and organs. Researchers have found that beet juice can also lower your systolic blood pressure. And onions are also an excellent source of flavonoid antioxidants, which benefit heart health and circulation by helping your arteries and veins widen when blood flow increases. Consuming flavonoid-rich citrus fruits like lemons, grapefruit, and oranges may decrease inflammation in your body, which can reduce blood pressure and stiffness in your arteries while also improving blood flow. Watermelon also improves blood flow as it contains lycopene, which is a natural antioxidant. It is linked to improving circulation. Nuts like almonds and walnuts help improve circulation by reducing inflammation 
and oxidative damage in the arteries. Try adding tomatoes to your diet. The lycopene in tomatoes protect against cardiovascular disease. The vitamin K in tomatoes also aids in the control of bleeding and blood clotting, as well as improved circulation. Berries are rich in antioxidants, including one that's especially good for your blood vessels, is anthocyanin. It's a compound that gives red and purple. It's a compound that makes the berries red and purple and produces that deep colored hue. Anthocyanin can help protect the walls of your arteries from damage and keep them from becoming stiff. Plus, anthocyanin spurs the release of nitric oxide, which helps to lower your blood pressure. Lastly, nitrate rich foods like spinach may improve your circulation. Many studies have found that a diet rich in spinach have helped keep arteries flexible and helped lower blood pressure. The best activity to improve circulation is aerobic exercise. This includes jogging, cycling, dancing, swimming, or boxing. But walking is one of the easiest ways to boost your blood flow. It is free, requires no special equipment, and you can do it pretty much anywhere. Walking is also easy to fit into your usual routine. Try incorporating walking into your commute or go for a walk at lunchtime. Just 30 minutes, five days a week, is what it takes to meet the recommended aerobic activity guidelines. Jogging is another great option because it not only gets your heart rate pumping and blood flowing around your body, but it can also help build cardio endurance. According to a recent study, running at a slow speed for just 5 to 10 minutes a day is associated with a dramatically reduced risk of cardiovascular disease. As well as boosting circulation, running has a whole bunch of additional benefits from building bone health to managing depression and improving body weight. So if you're new to jogging, start small and build up gradually. Try alternating between jogging and brisk walking. And don't forget to add some stretches to the beginning and end of your routine. If the thought of running leaves you cold, or if you're unable to participate in other forms of exercise, swimming is a great low-impact option. Swimming delivers similar benefits without putting pressure on your joints in the same way as going for a run would. In a study of 80,000 people, swimmers were found to have 41% lower risk of heart disease and stroke. The water resistance adds an element of strength training to aerobic workout, as well as increasing calories burned. And because it hurts less, you usually keep going for a longer period of time. It's also important to remember that not all exercise looks or feels like exercise. Gardening, for example, is an activity that people from every walk of life enjoy as a hobby. That's also really good for many aspects of your physical and mental health. Not only does gardening provide both aerobic and strength exercises, together with the multiple health benefits of being both outdoors and being surrounded by greenery, you end up with a beautiful space to relax in and enjoy. According to several doctors, if you smoke, you should quit. Smoking can inhibit blood flow, destroy blood vessel walls, and cause plaque to accumulate in the veins. Many insist that the sooner you stop smoking, the sooner your health will improve. 